What's up everybody? I'm Jeff Lenoski and I'm back with vlog 1.5. I know the title says two, but we're picking up where we left off on one. So the last vlog I made, which was my first one, I talked about YouTube, why I'm on it, how I can make my channel grow. I wanted to get your opinion on whether or not you thought ads were annoying. We talked a little bit about Patreon, meeting up with more of my subscribers and viewers to ride, things like that. Now I've got some direction. That first video I made probably took me 50 tries because I had so much stuff to throw out and I didn't know where to start or even where to stop. So got some direction. So here's what I've decided. My whole point in monetizing my videos is to just get YouTube to push them out and use the algorithms to get better reach and hopefully more viewers. I think I got a better plan. If you watch my videos, throw a like or a share and that's gonna help me out just as much because I need you to grow this channel and I'm not gonna go the monetization route yet, just yet. Um, I see a lot of people commenting like, you know, you should make money off of these videos, you should be able to support yourself, whatever. I've been writing professionally for over 20 years. So my bread and butter, my job, how I support my entire family has been as a pro rider. And that involves traveling around to bike shops, doing dealer visits, um, making the Trail Boss videos that I make and using them as editorial content. So you might see them here on my YouTube channel, but I also get them posted on places like Pink Bike or MTBR or Dirt Rag. They all share that content. And when I make those videos and I put them out, I'm justifying the support that I get from those companies to be a pro rider. So a typical YouTuber, how it works for most people, they create content and then make revenue. So they make a video of them riding and then they put ads in it. They do Patreon, they do Amazon links. So they create content and then they get paid. And for me, it's a lot different. So I kind of gave my opinion on that business model last week and how I wasn't really down with it. But I realized that I'm not really living in the real world. I'm definitely in a different position than those guys and it wasn't by luck. I paid my dues for over 20 years to get in this position, but I have tremendous support from companies that allow me to do what I do. And the reason I'm making these videos and the reason I'm making a YouTube channel is to try to build that community. Um, like I said, when I first started to do Trail Boss videos, they just were, YouTube was just a place to host them. I wasn't trying to make a YouTube channel. And I realized that it really was a great way to try to interact with all of you more. So I wanna pay that forward. I, I, the industry has my back, I wanna pay it forward. So here's what I'm doing. I'm not gonna monetize my videos. I want, the, the whole reason I was gonna monetize them in the first place was to try to get them as front of as many people as possible. And I had read that YouTube will put them out further and give them better reach with the algorithms and whatever if they're monetized. If you guys want to help me out, like a lot of you commented in that first vlog that I made that if you have to sit through an ad to support me, you'll do it. Instead of sitting through ads, throw me a like. Even if my video is terrible, just like it. Like it twice if it's good. The second thing, um, everybody's doing stickers right now. If you want Trail Boss stickers, I'm giving them away for free. If you guys are willing to support Trail Boss and you want to be Trail Bosses yourselves or just rep my channel, I'm giving away stickers for free. So I'll have a post office box. You just have to mail me a self-addressed stamped envelope. Postage is expensive right now, so I don't mind giving you guys free stickers, but I can't pay to give them to you. So we're gonna do a, check out the description. I'm gonna have a PO box listed there. Send me a uh, self-addressed stamped envelope and I'll send whoever wants stickers, stickers. And then the third thing, we gotta talk about hooking up for some rides. I'm not doing Patreon. I wanna ride with as many people as possible. One of the main reasons I'm doing this channel is to build my overall awareness. In February, this weekend coming up, February 3rd, if you're in the Tampa area, I'm in Oldsmar at Bike Sport. It's a giant dealer. I'm doing a trials demo there on Saturday. Sunday is the Super Bowl. I'm gonna be in Tampa for that, but before the Super Bowl, 10 a.m., I wanna do a ride at Alifier River State Park. February 23rd, Peoria, Arizona, I'm gonna be at Golden Spoke Bicycles. 
That's another giant dealer grand opening. I'm gonna be doing trials, demos at it. And then the following weekend, March 3rd through the 5th, I'll be at the Sedona Fat Tire Festival. They're gonna post some information about some rides that I'm doing. And I'm even gonna videotape them and do a Trail Boss ride along. And then March 10th and 11th, I'm gonna be back in Florida at the Santos Fat Tire Festival. Um, and on Sunday, I'm gonna be hosting a ride there with my good friend Lance Trappy, and we're gonna be doing another Trail Boss ride along. So we could all ride together and you could be in a video. I have to have a new topic for every single video. As you can see already, we're in February and I'm busy every single weekend. This is where I need your help. My main goal for this year is to go to eight of the biggest mountain bike festivals in the country. I got Sedona and Santos Fat Tire Festival, and we're already in March. Definitely going to Nemba Fest in June. If you know of a good mountain bike festival that you've been to that you think is great, comment below on your favorite mountain bike festival. And just like the questions last week, which nobody asked, um, if you see a festival that you think is good, either comment the same thing or just give it a thumbs up so that I know which one or people are saying is a good festival. And then um, the second thing is, what was the second thing? I had two things. I got it. I need Trail Boss locations. So comment below where you think are good venues or good trails. All right, so that's it for this last vlog. I honestly cannot believe how many people watched the first one. So if you're watching this, let's start with a thumbs up. If this is the first vlog you ever watched, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I need all the help I can get because I wanna make this thing as big as possible. And until next time, I'll see you on the trail.